What's up guys, DBC4G here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that disgusting bloatware that device manufacturers decide to throw on cell phones. Let's get started. So you just unboxed your brand new Galaxy Note 5 or Galaxy S6 Edge Plus or any device to be quite honest and you notice that there are things like Go90, Clash of Kings Empire, Panda Poop, Sugar Smack, Verizon Cloud, Verizon Message Plus, NFL Mobile and you're an NBA fan. What are you going to do with that? To get rid of these applications you're going to jump into settings and then you're going to jump into applications, application manager. You're going to scroll over all the way to all and then you're going to look for the app that you want to get rid of. In this case, I want to get rid of the Kindle app. Um, catch and data are already cleared. Never use Kindle. Uh, let's hit force stop and then we're going to hit disable. And it's just that easy. You jump back out, you jump back in here and you see that your Kindle app is now disabled off of your device. IMDB is another one that is bloaty. If I wanted it, I would download it. So we're going to disable IMDB. But pretty much that's how you go about it people if you want you just go through here you find an app that you don't want that comes pre-installed on your device um, emergency alerts i don't want that if i'm ever in trouble i will not be looking for my phone my first thing will be is to fight off my attacker i'm not gonna be looking my, for my phone today emergency on my phone that's crazy so we're gonna keep going through here uh you can just scroll down this whole list, audible, bloaty, I don't want it, I don't need it. You can force stop that and disable it and it won't show up in your apps list anymore. And then you can see here you have a list of all disabled apps. Uh, NFL was actually already disabled so that's why it wasn't showing up. But you have a list of all your disabled apps. You can go back out here, let's look here. We don't want VZ Navigator, we don't want VZ Protect. So I'm going to get rid of those really quick. Uh, Multi-window, that's cool. Let's close that. Let's go all the way down to V. So we got VZ Navigator. We don't want that. Let's clear the catch, clear the data. Might as well free up some of that on my, on my device. Let's force stop it, and then we're going to hit disable. It's just that easy, people. Anything you don't want, you just go ahead and uh, and close it out. You, you, you disable it from the device. You don't need it. What do you need that for? Just get rid of it. Support and protection. I don't need your support, Verizon, or your protection. I can protect myself. So get off my phone. And it's just that simple. So you jump here now. You keep on right. See, hotspot will keep. Voicemail will keep. My Verizon Mobile will keep. You can actually just de-bloat this device as much as you want. What this does, this will free up a precious storage device space. As I've said before in many videos, I buy the base model of any device that I buy uh, because I don't really need the space. And uh, if I ever did run into that situation, I de-bloat my devices when I unbox them. Uh, when I get them out of the box, I go ahead and, and I de-bloat them. And then I turn them into the latest Nexus device. Side note, check out the latest device, the latest video that I have uh, converting the Note 5 and the Galaxy 6 S6 Edge Plus into a Nexus P. Uh, you can also um, do that to any, you know, the Galaxy S6, whatever. You can do that. So check out that video. It's linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I want you to go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know if you've already de-bloated your device. Um, if if that's one of the first things you do, if you didn't know how to when you actually learned something, let me know below. If you want more content like this, let me know. Uh, you know, if you have things like, hey, DB, how do you do this? How do you do that? Let me know in the comments below. I'll make videos and let you guys know how to do certain things. If I know how to do it myself, that's not a problem. I'm ready to do it. Also, if you're new here, if this is the first time that you're seeing 
this lovely face and this awesome beard. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button below. But until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Like they're trying to oust competition, right? Yeah. We're back to that. Um, but if it was a financials, like I don't see something being a number one seller hurting them financially. Like I'm pretty sure that they make more money from from selling a prime device. I'm pretty sure that they're probably they probably have you know some type of um, um future plans for prime. Live Geek Radio.